Hello, you wonderful people. I was asked to make a birthday card for, for one of my colleagues. And as you know me, I wanted to paint that. Um, I made a lot of cards in my previous years, but recently I tend to make simpler ones and I have shown you many of them before on this channel. So today I will show you how I made this poppy birthday card. I was a lot inspired by the nice and beautiful fields of poppies that we have blooming right now here. And well, that's why I wanted to make a poppy. A flower is a neutral and nice element that fits almost everyone. So here's the card. I painted it on Hanemühle Britannia watercolor paper. It's a um, cellulose watercolor paper which I actually quite like to make um, cards on and also for practice pieces. So if you're looking for a cheaper paper to practice on this might be a solution for you. Um, as you know my other paintings are on 100% cotton paper. I used my Schminke palette, which you can kind of see above in the video, and there are also some Daniel Smith pens in them. I tell you that because I used a lot of undersea green for the stems of these wonderful puppies. You may see the pencil lines on on the um, paper. This is actually the size of the finished card. It's go going to be a, a A5, a big card where everyone in the company can um, can leave their signature for this one colleague. So the paper will needs to be cut down. A little in the end. I will show you the whole process of making this um, watercolor birthday card. Of course while painting this I tried to leave lights and shadows and sometimes I wasn't careful enough and went, to, went into still wet areas with my wet brush and I had to fix a little bit. But still, in the end, I really like how the painting turned out, and I hope you do too. For the background, I used a wonderful Indigo by Schminke. Indigo is actually my most favorite color and a to-go color when I want to have a moody piece. And you have seen me use it many many times before, even when I haven't spoken about that. With a small brush I added some details to the petals and also colored in the last stem that was left. I had quite a few references um, for, this painting, for this painting because I had taken many photos um, of the puppies in the fields that we have here. And I actually made a little video for you too, which you can see in the end there.
in the end I added some highlights in white which were lost during the painting process. It also helps to set a little bit of a border between the indigo background and the flower itself. And lets it be a little bit more airy and light. And I also added the little hairs that the stems of the puppy flowers have. Now I'm cutting down um, the panel for the card. I'm cutting one millimeter before the lines that I have drawn on because this will give me a nice border around the panel. I don't do anything fancy with that and just keep it plain because I want it to be so a simple card. For the cardstock I used um, some brown paper by Folia. The sentiment was printed with a laser printer on a piece of vellum. I have printed out other sentiments too for cards to come because I have to make some other cards in the future. I wrapped this piece of vellum around um, the card because if you put glue underneath of it, it will show through. This is basically the easiest way to attach vellum to a card. So if you are curious, there are other ways on how to attach vellum to a card on my blog. Um, in the end I just add glue to the back of this panel. You also could use something for to add that dimension, but I really wanted to be, this to be a simple card because I thought this was the most fitting for the situ situation. You also could have stamped on the on the vellum, or embossed it, or um, do whatever pleases you the most. As you can see, I've added also some white paper to write on on the inside of the card. I wish you all a wonderful and creative day. Have fun, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.